In this video, we are going to take our web page layout that we've been building, and we're going to turn it into multiple pages. We're going to have a home page, a locations page, and a contact page. Also, if you've missed any of the previous videos, the link is in the description. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go over to our tab page here and we have our index.html, which is the correct name for your home page. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to save this, copy it to multiple different pages. So I'm going to do file save as, which as you can see is command shift S. Let's save as contact.html. Now we have a second page. I can command shift S and say locations.html. Now I have my three pages. Now, again, the only name that really matters is index.html. These can be whatever you want, as long as you remember their name. Also important, you need to remember if it's capital C for contact or lowercase c. It's called case sensitive. You have to know what all those names are, exactly the letters that make up your file name. A lot of people get hung up there. So now let's go ahead and turn these pieces of text into links. Uh, to make a link, you do an A tag. Why it's not a link tag, I have no idea. It's always been an A tag. And the word inside of that is going to be the text that gets shown as a link. So then you add an attribute to the A tag uh, called href, which is hyperlink reference. Uh, and then you pick which file you want that to go to, which is index.html. We just made a link to index.html. Whoops, like, looks like I got an extra little character there. Ta -da. Got it. And so now you can see that it turns purple because I've been there before and I can click on it and it takes me home, which is where I already am. So that's not very useful. Let's change this to say home. There we go. So now let's go ahead and add an A tag for locations. A. And let's call it locations. And again, this is where the file name comes in handy or comes in important is you call this whatever file you want it to go to. So locations html so now my locations has turned into a link and i can click on it it says title because i haven't changed that and then i can hit the back arrow so i'm good i can go back and forth between my two pages now let's do the last one of contact contact.html and we'll paste it in there so now i have three links going to my three pages yep the contact one works as well so now i can just copy this code click here shift click there and hit command C to copy. Now I can go to contact and I can paste all this in here. Get my links and I can go to locations and do the same thing. Get my links while I'm at it. Locations. Contact. Now I can go to all my pages, locations, contact, home. Every single page knows how to link back to every single other page. Excellent. So you actually have a couple options here for how you want to lay out your folder. Uh, this works great for a couple pages, but if you had a website with 150 pages, you wouldn't want to see them all down here. You'd want to create folders. So let's create a folder here and call it pages. Now I have a folder called pages. Let's start moving stuff in there. Yes, I want to move it. Locations. Uh, do you want to move it? Sure, I want to move it. So now if I go to index.html, uh, let's go back to our home here and I click on locations. It says, hey, I can't get locations.html. That's because it doesn't exist. Uh, this link is automatically going to look for the file in the same directory that my current page is. So I'm, in, in, I'm on index.html, which is right here, and it's going to look for a locations.html and not find it. So we want it to look in the pages directory. So that's pretty simple. We just tell it pages slash locations.html. And there we go. Now this link will work again. Ta-da! We can get back to locations. And you notice if I'm in the locations page and click on home, ah, I can't get pages slash index.html because I'm on the locations page and I clicked for index.html and that doesn't exist in my folder. So if you want to look up a folder level, you have to do dot dot slash. That means, hey, look in the folder above mine. So if I'm in pages right here, and I do dot dot slash, then it's going to go up a level, which is right here. So that's kind of your way of look, navigating all the different folders. Um, you could have a folder inside of pages called pages, um, artists, uh, and then artists that start with the letter W. Uh, this is if you had just hundreds and hundreds of pages and it would automatically look in the pages folder. And then for another folder in there called artists, and then another folder in that folder called W, and then a file called locations.html. So you can do a lot of different things. You can make this website as big as you want to make it. And then also on locations.html, 
I could look up a level. So let's say I was in that W folder. I could go up a level to artists and then up a level to pages and then up a level back to the beginning where my index.html will be, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and do dot dot slash for index.html. And now if I'm on locations, I can go home. Whoops, let's refresh. I forgot to refresh. There we go. Now I can go home and I get there. So I'm at home, go into pages slash locations.html and go to dot dot slash index.html and that all works. So for just three pages, eh, I'm gonna leave it all here. I'm gonna drag them all back here. I'm gonna get rid of the pages folder, but that is very important that you know how to do that in code because it messes up a lot of new coders. So I'm gonna get rid of all my changes that I made here. And locations.html does not need the dot dot anymore. There we go. So that's our website, it's set up. But we do have one small problem here is that every single page has a copy of all our CSS styles. So if I change something here, what am I on? Let's go to index. And if I change this to be pink, because everyone loves pink. Uh, then I go to locations. Oh no, locations is red now. So there's a lot of styles you wanna share across your whole website, like how your navigation looks how your footer looks, what the background color is for your page. So we're gonna to wanna to get this into what's called an external style sheet. Uh, to do an external style sheet, you just, I'm gonna right click here and do new file, and you can call it whatever you want, styles.css. You usually wanna end it with .css. Uh, normal names that people use are styles or style sheet or main.css. Uh, those are kind of some of the names that people will use. And let me go up here and grab all my CSS, but I don't want that tag because this is not going to be an HTML page. I just want the CSS styles and then I can get rid of that style tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Now we have no style at all. I'm gonna paste all of that into the styles.css. Now all I have to do is bring styles.css into all three of my pages. I do that by going to the head. Into the head, I go link. I'm gonna add a link tag. I'm gonna do link and hit tab. And look, it automatically took care of some stuff for me. Rel equals style sheet, that's very important. And then the href is going to be styles.css. And there you go. You can see that we automatically have our styles pulled into our page. So with this one tag, we can add CSS styles to any page that we want. Uh, I don't wanna cut it, I wanna copy it. Let's copy it there. Let's go to contact.html. Get rid of all this style and paste in my link tag. Hit save and now contact should have my pink styles. Excellent. Now let's also go to locations. Same thing, style sheet, style CSS. Now whichever page I go to has my styles. What's great about this is now I can change that color from anything, uh, let's make it blue. And now all my pages automatically have the blue styles that have caught. So this is how you wanna manage the styles on your web page. You can also create multiple style sheets. You can make one for the navigation, one for the footer. You can make a bunch of different CSS files and put the CSS in there and import all of them. So you can have multiple links here. You can have 10 links if you want. Although in general, you wanna have fewer. Fewer is usually better. So that's how you set up your website uh, to scale, to grow to a lot of pages with CSS. In the next video, we're gonna look at how we target things. Cause again, we've got this problem where this div is going to automatically affect every single div on our whole website. So we are gonna to wanna to look at CSS targeting next. That's really gonna set us up to build out the rest of our website easily.